We're also watching、uh, Canopy Growth Shares today as we're seeing a slight rebound there. The stock up about four percent after the largest cannabis company by market cap got absolutely shellacked yesterday, taking、uh, a fifteen percent hit on a weaker than expected earnings report. Shares though today in the green, despite analysts at GMP Securities slashing their Canopy price target by about thirty percent. Due to their calculation that Canopy has lost its lead in the recreational marijuana market share,、uh, when it comes to Canada's market, CEO Mark Zakulin had some interesting thoughts when he was asked about that on the earnings call. Take a listen. If you gave me the choice between having a, a 10 share moving to 15 to 20, or having a 35 moving to 30 or 25, I would still take the、uh, the 25 ending ending point. So there you go. He's not too worried about slipping share.、Uh, nor is former、uh, co-CEO Bruce Linton, who reportedly bought more Canopy stock.、Uh, Jack, you talk about big boy moves. Bruce Linton still has confidence in the company he used to serve,、uh, so he thinks this long-term strategy and the term,、uh, long-term thesis is still intact. Emily, do you think that that's the case? Though, when you look at the cannabis sector, which has been hit hard. This week, exactly. Well, just looking at what management had to say, they kind of have a point about you know that going from 30 to 25、uh, that argument. So if you just look at the results, so for Canopy Canadian recreational cannabis revenue for buyer to or business to business and business to consumer did decline sequentially.、Mm -hmm. But if you look at that, they're still more than twice as much as like a Tilray, for example. So、uh, for Canopy, that was about 38 million dollars they had for that B to B adult use sales. And if you look at Tilray, that was just 15 million dollars for the quarter. Now Tilray did see growth sequentially, so from quarter to quarter they were increasing their share.、Yeah. And yes, Canopy is declining, but they're still well above some of their next largest peer group. So that's that's something to keep in mind when you think about the scope of these companies. Jack, when we talk about the cannabis sector overall, though, I mean this is this is a sector that was so hot last year and so hot to start even 2019. I mean when we looked at it over the first couple months, some of these names were up 60, 70 % in just a couple months span. Now, I mean this week you're down 20 % when you look at some of the major players. So I mean. I'm not sure if that matters in the long term. These big upswings, downswings overall. If you zoom out a bit, the still uptrend is is intact there. At least when you go back a couple years. Yeah, I, I agree, and especially with Canopy, they're so big,、uh, and people aren't recognizing, but they're putting a lot of money into the research development on the pharmaceutical side of this business. We're talking about the recreational side, where anybody can grow some weed, roll it up in a joint, and smoke it. Right? That that's an easy point of, of of entry. But when you talk about actually going through the FDA process, actually. Putting science and research、uh, behind true cannabinoids and cannabis and the effects that it has on your body,、uh, and, and being able to push this from a medical perspective—that's a whole other arena. That's where the money really is. And so, canopy growth is a long-term play. If you want to get involved in this stock, get involved in it for the long term. If you're trying to go with these swings in and out on what's popular today, you know whether you know e-cigarettes and all these vapes will probably be outlawed here pretty soon because they're terrible for you. And so, a lot of these different ways that We're consuming marijuana、uh, won't even be around,、uh, but the guys that can really get FDA approval and be and prove themselves medically—that's where you want to be, that's and that's canopy growth. I mean, that was a lot of the bright spots when we look at the international growth too. C3, the German company that they had purchased, the medical-focused company over there. They saw massive growth from that name as well as they kind of focus on a higher price point that comes along with medical grade marijuana as well. Exactly, and that's something that Tilray reported. Their average selling prices actually went down because they were having a larger mix of this adult use revenue coming in. So that's just showing that margins are better on the medical side. The other thing as well is that CBD is really going to be a growth driver. I mean, think about all the, just the health and wellness benefits of that.、Uh, so any company that has exposure to that, and especially the American CBD market, is going to. Be a market leader. So look at like a canopy that's trying to break into the CBD market in the U.S. A lot of money into it. Exactly. Or Kronos with its recent、uh, acquisition of Lord Jones. So、yep. you see a lot of just M&A action happening around the CBD space. And we'll be focusing a little bit more on that too because next week we're going to be talking with Aurora Cannabis CEO Cam Batley and former Canopy Growth CEO Bruce Linton, who, as we mentioned, still very confident in where Canopy could be going. Both of them will join us right here on Wi-Fi PM、uh, next week. On Tuesday, be sure to tune in for that. You will not want to miss it.